Hey, good morning. Welcome to your Daily Grip on God's Word. Today we are going to be in Joshua chapter 6. This will be my final day with you uh, for this month. I have enjoyed it. I hope you have too. Um, I look forward to what uh, Steve and Brian and uh, Scott will be sharing with us out of this awesome book uh, for the rest of the month. Today my verses are verses 22 and 23. What rose up for you? Let me read you my G, God's Word. Meanwhile, Joshua said to the two spies, Keep your promise. Go to the prostitute's house and bring her out, along with all her family. The men who had been spies went in and brought out Rahab, her father, mother, brothers, and all the other relatives who were with her. They moved her whole family to a safe place near the camp of Israel. The title of my, my uh, story today is The Salvation of a Prostitute. Uh, showing that God can, can save anybody that he chooses to. Here's my arm I reveal. This is a picture of salvation with a new life in Christ. All of Rahab's family was saved because of her faith. All of their things were destroyed, their house, their possessions, all gone, and now they would have new life with a new people. Here's my eye, my implementation. Rahab banked her life and the lives of all her family on the God she heard about in the stories that came out from Egypt. Am I bold in sharing the good news with my family and all my relatives? I know I should be. I should be bold as I want each person in God's kingdom with me here on earth and eternally in heaven. Um, we need to remember that um, sometimes we are the only Bible that other people read or see, the way we live our lives, uh, the way we tell stories. And here, uh, Rahab had seen and heard stories of the God of Israel. She was in, in Jericho, and they knew that Israel was coming. Uh, they'd known for some time, and she knew that they were going to be overrun, probably. She had heard all the stories about how God had miraculously um, led the Israelites out of Egypt, and now he was going to lead them directly into the conquest of Jericho. Um, so she banked her faith and her life on that. Uh, that's, that's pretty incredible. Here's my P, my prayer. Father, thank you for this picture of salvation coming to Rahab and her family. May I be bold in telling others of you and your good news here on earth. In Jesus' name, amen. Guys, send me your verses. Uh, I want to read the stories uh, that God gave to you. These first six chapters in Joshua have been incredible. Uh, the next will be even more so as they go into the promised land and begin to conquer and, and prevail uh, over the people, that uh, this land that God had given them. Uh, I look forward to that. I look forward to hearing the stories uh, from you. Uh, let me pray for us on our way out. Father, uh, I do thank you for this picture of salvation that you have given. Uh, Lord, her, her house was miraculously spared. Her walls did not come tumbling down when all the rest of the walls of Jericho did. Uh, Father, I thank you for saving her and her family. I thank you for saving me uh, and others like me, Father, that uh, Lord, we're so unworthy. Uh, we're so grateful. We're thankful. Lord, I just uh, I pray your blessings upon those watching and listening to this video. Lord, that your, uh, your faith stories in their lives. Uh, they would be emboldened to share those as well. Father, we thank you. We love you in Jesus' name. Amen. Guys, be blessed. I will see you soon. Enjoy uh, the next several days of Joshua. Uh, it's going to be incredible. Uh, have a blessed day.